first time we laid our eyes upon the new Volvo S60 Cross Country was back in January at the Detroit Auto Show. It seems like ages ago but in truth, only two months passed and we're taking yet another look at it, in Geneva this time, making its European debut. And Europe will be the main market for this car, especially in diesel guises, the kind that Volvo unveiled for its V60 range not too long ago. We're talking about the new D5 twin engine plants that are supposed to deliver 160 HP and will be mated to a 67 HP electric engine for that hybrid setup everyone wants these days. The combined output of the two will be close to 230 HP when they work simultaneously, plenty for any car, to be completely frank. And the CO2 emissions will drop considerably as well as the MPG numbers, even though the Swedes didn't provide any numbers just yet. If that's not good enough for you, sticking with the original D4 lineup might do the trick. There are two diesel choices available as part of this nomination, a 2-liter drive E making 190 HP that only compatible with a forward layout and a 2-4, liter 5-cylinder one that can go all-wheel drive. Considering this is a cross-country model, we'd recommend the AWD choice. In terms of styling the car remains true to its DNA. With a ride height that was generously increased by 65mm, 2.5 inches, the S60 Cross Country looks ready to take on any kind of terrain you throw at it, especially when using all-wheel drive. You might also notice the, impressive wheels. That's right, you can get them within 18 or 19 guys if you please, depending on your choice. They look good in either configuration if you ask us. Inside the cabin, it's the usual S60 business, nothing being changed compared to the regular car. Sales are expected to being in July.